Well, this is definitely the type of material I was interested in. Uh, whenever I built this screener, I was actually, this is kind of what I was envisioning as the tailings. And this pile of fill I have here has a lot more rock in it. And you know, this time of year, we're in early March, I have a lot of trails that are rutted up and uh, I'd consider getting some stone. And then I thought, well, if I, if I built this screener and I could separate some of the rock, because this is almost all rock. This is about what I was looking for. I mean, it's kind of river rockish, but I can fill ruts in with it. And, you know, I can always go over top of it with something finer later. I imagine this will just get packed down in, but it'll give me a little bit more of a surface going down in that mud. So I think I'm in good material for what I planned on doing. So I went on ahead and hooked up the box blade on the coyote and I'll try to fill in some ruts and see how that works. see how it turns out. Techniques working pretty well. Um, I'll just keep running more of that dirt and get some of the more of this coarse material in here, and at least we'll get the ruts filled in. Uh, that's one of the reasons why, in the winter time, we're running one of these trails that doesn't have much bottom to it. I always try to stay in the same tracks as much as possible, just because it becomes a heck of a lot easier to fix it. So, yeah, I dump a couple more loads in here, use that box, that box blade to uh, braid that out, and we'll be up out of the ruts. Anyway, that's what I had envisioned whenever I 
belt that screen. So, Coyote and the Titan box blade. That makes easy work of this. Well, thanks for watching. Thank you.